Watch the Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Just to let you guys know, man, we are a family and you guys are a part of it. I'm super excited because today we've got more incredible moments from Fortnite history lined up for you guys once again. This time featuring Benji Fishy, Unknown, Tayson, and a bunch more pros that I'm sure you guys are going to recognize. So, hey, it's time to get that bunch of crunch, get relaxed. We're going to witness part three of every pro player's greatest play. All right, you already know what to do. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this going. All right, guys, so starting things off with UK legend Benji Fishy. All right, now Benji's been on the top for quite a while now, so it wasn't easy picking his greatest play. But not too long ago, he pulled off one of the most butt-clenching clutches we've ever seen. Yeah, I said the word butt. Single-handedly carrying his team in the FNCS. Yo, you gotta take a look. Fine. Go, go, Fine. Try the yeah. Yo, right next to us, right next to us over here. Go ahead it. Be careful. Yeah. Okay, nothing. Dead. One more. Nice, that? You died. Nice. Getting loot. Getting loot. Getting loot. Get loot. Get loot. Get loot. Get loot. I'm getting loot. I'm getting loot. I'm getting mass. Bring him mass. He's top man. I'm getting you. Wavy side. Hundred, hundred. He's one. He's one. Yeah, he's one. He's, one. he's, one. he's literally one. We need to kind of strangle this guy. Yeah. Right off. Okay. Okay. I'm turning I've got a lot. I've got four hundred. Four hundred mass. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's go down! Dead! Nice! One more! Shit. Another one dropped down! Another one dropped! Three, three people yeah, low yeah. down! Three people low down! Thanks, Storm! Three kids are low, one guy on height! No! Nice floppers! Three floppers! You can retake really height with this! Make sure you use your band gun as well! Not one flop! He's bending down! Nice. nice. You win heal off the band camera, I think. Alright, he has one as well. You need to go for a siphon. Let's go! I'm so good! So I'm, good. So good. I'm so good! I'm so good! Let's go! Alright, let's keep it moving with another insane, legendary EU player, Thomas HD. All right, Thomas doesn't get enough recognition, but I'll be darned if this isn't the best play. Or even, like, one of the best plays we've ever seen this season. Basically close two shockwaves worth of distance to even get up to contest high ground. If he's the only one holding it's going to be near impossible as we swing back on board. Thomas HD on the low ground with a crash pad. Can he find the room? He has plenty of bullets, but no shield, no HP, oh. and next to no builds. However, it doesn't matter. He finds Rotary, gets a huge refresher, now up to 40 builds. Also finds a slurp fish, also finds some minis, everything he needs to go on a potential run. And don't forget, Thomas yesterday was the one who came up with the absolutely absurd clutch to steal away a victory royale and a seven point swing. Can he do it again using the bouncer to get ahead of the zone? This is a master class in why he is one of the best players in the region. A fantastic signing from Gamma, doing oh. everything he can. He catches Kiriachi. That's another two point swing as he pushes into the top 10, Sancho. It's Thomas right now who's going to go for another fight down below, but he has to be careful. He has no builds, ladies and gentlemen. Completely out, but he does pick up another one, and that was a big time Elim, and another one! Juice, Leo, go down! Thomas, he's got shockwaves! He's got shockwaves, sundown. It is an opportunity, but he can't find the height. Oh my! Thomas, can you do it, brother? Trying to drop the players down. One player ends up falling in front of him. He gets no siphon going through there. Didn't get the knock, but now he is outlived as a solo. He's pushed all the way through into a top three. And not only is it a top three, it is oh. a winnable top three. He finds the 100. Can he find the second? He needs the siphon. Oh. Switches to the bandage cannon, and the siphon comes through. All of a sudden, oh, Gamma's no. Thomas HD oh, on my. the low ground. 90 HP. No one dies. The lead goes to him. Thomas HD clutches up. One shot health and barely any mass to his name, and yet he takes it the full distance. Just goes to show it, man, that it's not over till it's over. All right, guys, so around the time TSM was scouting Kanata, he competed in California at his first ever LAN event. The thing was, though, Kanata was winning tons of cash cups online, so no one really knew if he could do the same at a LAN event against the best in the world. But he proved them all wrong, like that, with his aggressive in-game performance. And I think that's Natalite who fell all the way down the low ground. So Maxi versus two. Gets him in his boxes. Might be one. No! no he goes down! He 
a choke. Last second to the low ground player. Here's the last moment. We'll see the RPG. We'll see exactly who that was. Kanata actually went for a high ground play at the same time. So multiple different angles, multiple diff different approaches. And Bully's alive on the bottom left as well. This force by Kanata throws Nano's height 100%. This makes it RPGable. We'll see it coming out in just a second when he actually lost that height. Maxi all the way back in zone right now, still playing with those floppers going right. There's the RP from Seth. This man counters Nano 24-7. This time it was Kanata oh! up there with the big Kanata! pop -off. Absolutely destroyed two in front of him and then cleans up, almost gets trapped. The movement insane. And he's actually going to be able to close out one tap onto Mexi. The freeze frame shows it all. This next play coming up might just be one of the best clutches in recent history. But first, if you're looking to improve quickly, all right, you got to check out Pro Guides Coaching. Listen, you can learn directly from the pros to find out exactly what you need to do to improve your game. So save your time and improve rapidly. Sign up today, guys. Link is in the description. So usually in the grand finals of a tournament, players can't rack up kills like they would in arena. But during the solo FNCS, Taysen took that notion and threw it out the window, pulling off what is probably the best performance in the most challenging region in the world taking home the grand prize because of it too. Take a look. Eliminated from the Axis Champions competition, but wanna know who's not? E11 Taysen up on the high ground right now, just raining shots down in that full built metal base and then using the ramps around the side to cut off any angles of players who might punish him. And a great hit fire shot onto Smudge, then converting afterwards, then right away popping the crash pads and trying to head over towards that player to potentially scoop up whatever he can get. After elimination on three now, looking to pick up number for that player. No shields remaining, no builds remaining as well. That's gonna be Young Bob going down to Aeson. Now looking for elimination number five, not gonna be able to get it. He's got a good amount of mass as well. He can continue moving on a horizontal level while also harassing his opponents. Top 20 ticks over now. Taysen gonna continue contributing there. 43 points for the E11 player. And he goes into the crash wave because he wanted to be safe doing it. Did not want to risk it. He's got the flopper. That damage he took is effectively null. He's back up to 200 effective HP. But 18 players remaining. He's going to have to make a play. And he's already looking for high ground. Is he second high right now? But the drop down going to ensue. It's squeeze going to fall there to Milan. The shot's going through. Taysan getting challenged. But he's going to get an elimination there again. Now on six elimination. Bayon going to go down. Flopper Michael going to fall as well. Right now and he's trying to push forward. Frenzy Fishy up on the high ground, but now dropping back in. This is the box-to-box -box fight. He's able to pick it up. That is a huge elimination reason right over the side, but it's all Taysen all the time. Nine eliminations pushing forward for top five, and he's saying right now I can cement this number one spot. I can take away the game. I can make you chase me in game number six as he closes in for top three, and he's still hunting. He has that mythic charge shotgun. He says, I'm not just a shockwave player. Eleven eliminations. Two of the players go down and it's reason arguably the strongest solo player wire to wire against what is the strongest solo player on the day right now in e11's Taysen. Taysen up on the high ground reason on the low ground and that little bit of old man mountain he doesn't have to be too large but it's going to burn reasons through the last of his resources he's standing out there spraying no builds left and Taysen converts and he does so in a monstrous way 12 eliminations add the 14 points for the victory royale that's 20 I really hope E11 gave him a raise after he fragged his brains out here. And I mean, like, right here. It's been almost a year since Scope blew up after playing with Tifu, and man, oh man. This clip exemplifies precisely why he was just so sought after. The aim, the movement, just everything about it, man. It was only a scrim match, but still, the clutch factor and the opponents he was up against make this, in our humble opinion, Scope's greatest play. Let me go together. Alright, get this kill, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mini's on me. Coming to you. I'm done a heavy in, bro, or something. No, 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 no. The mini's, I have two, it's two, right? No, there's two. I, they were double key knocking, bro. Here, I, oh, I have a mini okay. for you. Or, no, you don't have a mini? I don't mind. I have two bro, we really could get on these kids. I think they're no shield. I'm down and jumping on them. heavy in? Let's do it. my marker? Yeah, I'm down, ready? Alright, no, no, no. One HP on one. Oh my god. One shot. I got him, I got him. Oh my Come god. On. Hey. I'm the best. Nice. I'm the best. Can I just got it on? 
Oh my oh. god. Speaking of Benji, all right. Imagine being able to 1v3, one of the best trios in your region, like literally the best players in the world. Well, Raison doesn't have to imagine this. With barely any mats and no team, guys, Raison needed to pull something magical out from under his sleeve and somehow, some way, he did it. If he can, and right now, not necessarily gonna find it. Shockwave's coming out, first shot comes through, Raison whiffing, and he really needed to hit that shot, because now it's going to be just a straight up 1v2, you can see. Noah has already disengaged with the shockwave here. And honestly, the onus is going to be on Rezon to make a play here. He has that kind of green charge shotgun and the LMG. So if he can get wall to wall, he can make a play. And now it's all on him as Noah Riley goes down the first one. It will be traded out by Rezon. Good job picking up Lechi, getting the siphon right away to put the pressure on his opponents. But still, it's a 1v2 against Savage and Benji. But Savage is hurting. Just one shot from Rezon will be able to put him over. You see the chug splash used right away to try and equalize that. And this is gonna be a Titan versus Titan right now. Raisin, he is 1v3 in this entire squad. And now he has one more left. As Sundown mentioned, it is Mr. Savage who was really low. And this is gonna be one time of shot with that charge shotgun. And Raison has to be feeling it right now, knowing that he has this trio on the ropes. Raison, can he go for another Haymaker and get the big time knockout and send waves throughout the Twitter universe? The Twitterverse right now is probably buzzing. The chat is buzzing right now as Savage is trying to do his best to salvage this and it doesn't matter what a big time hit from Razon and time for a bit of a throwback featuring Phase Funk who was actually one of the best players back then believe it or not at this land tourney he was left on his own after his duo got eliminated but he remained calm despite 10 health and prove to the world why he belongs on Phase Funk. Demo left by himself but he can make this work it's Bug Bomb. Gets two more on reverse. RPG, one shot for two. That's seven eliminations for Funk Bomb and Clips. Not bad at all. They're forcing these players with that rocket. He needs to get the reload off. It's a slower reload time, but it does a lot. He's going to drop Snood in front of him. Snood is going to be able to protect himself. Build a one by one. And Bomb, though. They have eight Elims, that's 80 points. A W here will put them way above everyone else. A big game for this duo. He has to cancel it for a fight. Monty has no resources, but he does have a grapple, but the grapple won't help him when he gets rocketed by Funk Bomb. Oh, oh no, and Rux drops down low. He tried to go for the waterfall play, one. but he wasn't able to do so. Now it's going to be a 1v1. You have Funk Bomb here outside of the storm. Needs to be careful. Player's going to be around him. That's going to be Snood actually right below him. But Snood needs to get out of there, get back into the RPG. circle. And Funk Bomb with the RPG gets the victory, Royale. Next up, we got Low Betty, a Spanish pro, pulling off one of the funniest and craziest plays we've ever seen in the tournament. Nothing's too impactful about this one, but holy moly, it takes a mad band to pull something off like this. who watched the known during FNCS squads knows that he played a role beyond monumental in securing the first place finish. Now, this was during the height of L2 spamming, but let's not discredit him, all right? Unknown, yo, how should I put this? He popped off, period. He played it so smart, man. He got so many kills, and his performance really rocketed his team up into a position where they could win the entire thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna get picks. I knocked the kid, I knocked the kid. Yo, I hit him white, I hit him white. Drop it down, I dropped down. Yo, I hit that, knocked another one. Yeah, I'm slaying him. Yeah, I'm not two of them. I'm not two of them. Yo, get the mask. Get the mask. Yo, it's just us versus side. It's just us versus side. Knock one down. He's one shot. He has no mask. He has, 
You have no mask now. What's not? What's? Wait, what? No, we, we're, no, we're not top two. We're not top two. No, we're not top two. Alright guys, thanks for watching again. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up for more and subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos like this. Alright, let me know in the comments whose greatest play you guys want to see in the next video. But other than that, bunch of crunch army, you better keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.